right, well, the hotspot moved over to Edgeville, so I want to go ahead and make use of that one. Oh, we'll look at all the stuff selling all of a sudden. The crates, the keys, the grand blood key, mystery chest, mystery crates. Boom, money. All right, time for some PKing where we can actually properly show the PKing. Let's see how it goes this time around. Oh my god. I was 64 HP on that X. A little scary, just nitty tiny little bitty. Boom, with the DFS for the kill. I think that's instantly the task completed. It was only one kill, yeah. 2.5 million cuz BHs. I think we're just gonna stack up 65 mil, I guess, and then uh, purchase a cuz deck and high for a wonder. Still need 50 mil points for that though, but we can get all these tears up and not die too often. Oh, we have a ranger which ain't ideal, but I guess I'll give it a go. Yep, that killed me. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, next fight. Good luck. Oh, what? It killed him? Huh, I didn't think he would die to that, to be honest. Good fight. That last fight reminded me how ass it is to fight. That was a huge fucking spec. I just combined him for a 90. Just with the solar spec and a little uh, DFS. Mysterious torn page. That's kind of nice to get. But yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, goddamn, bro. It's just so aids to fight fangs. You just get shredded beyond belief. I hate it. Oh, he's actually not using a cursed fang this time. Good luck. I don't care then. Just gonna send it. He didn't eat very high there. That works. Mr. PK to win. Good luck to you. The crystal is also getting more expensive each death. This one was like 185 build to purchase. Kind of crazy. Oh, that was not a very good spec. I'm, I'm gonna let him eat for a second. Gotta try hitting me a little though. Otherwise, it's never gonna move anywhere. Random spec, boom! Hope that was unfit. Yeah, I mean, probably won't show much of that. Oh, fuck me. I did not like that. Uh, I don't want to sit at 84, I'm sorry. Kill him before he kills me, please. Oh my god, a four? Oh, okay, that works. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was a weird one. Good luck, Mr. Trump again. Bonk. Good fight. That was a huge one. Perfectly timed with the bench. Alright, next target. Good luck. I'm so afraid to hit people <laughs> a 60 because we can on the very first hit. Because that could just one-shot yourself right out the gate. It's insane to see the hits though. It's oddly satisfying. Yeah, fucking hell bro. 76. Jesus man, this thing is so good. Oh, I love how PKing instantly becomes... So much more fun again the minute I switch weapons and use something new. Because, oh, it's satisfying to see the hits again. At some point you're done seeing double 60s with a Balmung or Inquisitor Mace bleed KOs. You know, you need to, we need to keep switching it up. Oh, we have someone with a cursed orb and everything. Inquisitor Mace. It's not a cursed uh, fang, so I'll gladly fight you. Even though it's still risky, odds are definitely not in my favor against Torva Inquisitor Mace, but... I'll try my best with my little crystal defense that I have. Into the spec. Good fight. Beautiful. Oh, that was just perfection right there, wasn't it? Timed that so well. Oh, you, when you feel it click, the minute you press that spec bar, you just know. You just know that was good timing. Oh, Cursed Orb, Elmold, Torva. It's nice to PK some decent loot after losing so much of it. Current stand of emblems. Tier 7s, 18 of them, and one tier 8, so we're just gonna try and get as many of those as we possibly can to the fucking tier 10. Oh, we got the mighty little toe, fought him a bunch of times at pure earlier, he was cursed or brisking there. Couldn't kill him though, I've, I don't think I've killed him once there. We're gonna change that right here right now with a big boom, oh, was not quite high enough was it? He ate well, to be fair. We don't do chills around here, sir. You need to leave. Boom, 56. Boom, the sex number. Ain't no way. Oh, okay. Good fight. <laughs> nice risk on his end with the X there. And I finally got a crate again. Nice. Oh, we got a fight with Rickster again. Good luck. Let's see the rematch. Can we get him a second time? Would be epic. 
It's gonna be hard. He'll be extra wary now that we already killed him once. And I missed the spec bar, or the DFS one. I think either one of us could have died with the right damage. Gonna need like an 80 Elder Maul with the Venge. Nope, not good enough. It was actually quite close. Just a half decent emo could have killed him. I think I hit only like a 30. 30. Just hit him a 60. I'm gonna risk it 5 HP. Oh. <laughs> Ain't no fucking way, bro. <laughs> That was one of my best skills ever. Ain't no fucking way that risk paid off. I 100% thought I was gonna die there. Jesus Christ, four mil points as well. Oh, that was sick. That was a sick fucking risk. Another Torva emo. No orb? Oh wait, I got a key this time. Weird. <laughs> There's the cursed orb money. All right, next fight. Good luck to Mr. Arad. No. And I'm still gonna spec anyway. <laughs> I actually got him. <laughs> oh, I was like, you know, I should turn off my spec. It's probably not gonna kill. Ah, fuck it. But it actually killed him with a 79. Clean. Well, actually, it's the sloppiest bad kills. I just, you know, 20 ticked my spec, but it still worked. Good luck next fight. Just have to skip two targets. Both cursed orb uses, but both, of course, camping the mighty fang. It, it just hurts a little because I want to fight cursed orb users, but I. Ooh, what a great eat. I don't want to fight cursed fangs, it's that fucking simple. And I think everyone just needs to draw that line until you no longer see fangs in edge because no one wants to fight them. That's the fucking dream there, but. You know, you want to fight fangs, be my guest, but it's just the worst. The worst experience, in my opinion. Alright, good luck. Oh god, I'm gonna pop that. Kill him instantly. <laughs> Always makes me feel bad when it goes that quick. I don't like fights like that. Also wouldn't like it if someone did that to me, just two hits and then instantly spec. Well someone did do that to me earlier. I think I did make it clear I don't like that, but spec with the venge? No, not good enough. Oh, fucking 57 with the venge, yep. Good fight. Oh yeah, you're dead. I just hit him for an 80 fucking free, bro. <laughs> Not even the max hit. That's insane. It was so unnecessary too, because like a 20 would have killed him. Alright, next target. Good luck to you, good sir. And also another cursed bounty hunter task. So let's try and get some more points. Please kill him. Thank you. Good fight. Ooh, close one as usual. Uh, no crate, got an empty chest though, that's nice, and 2.5 mil more points. 23.4 again. Almost back at where we were before that hunt left scroll. Oh, okay. He died to a normal blade hit, that works for me too. Alright, finally another fight. It's a lot of skipping in Edgeville at the moment, unfortunately, but we'll have to deal with it. Okay, focus up. Let's get the kill here. Damn, scary. Ain't no way that didn't kill. Ooh, ooh. Lucky we survived this spec. That was that was some risky play right there. Could have even smited me with a bit of RNG. Not sure if he could have. I don't think the amount of prayer I had was smiteable with a back-to-back -back normal war axe, but still. Why take that risk, right? Could have lost three trill if it went wrong. I get the pussy hunter over here. Oh, he ran away with a pussy. The pussy hunter is a pussy himself. Good luck to you, though. God claws. Eek! And shapow! 25? What do you mean? What? What? what uh... Yeah, I mean, wouldn't have been as risky if you had just died to the blade, but. You know what, let's not do the same thing twice. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, that was a bad move on my end. I don't know why I clicked him. It's such an instinctive thing. It, it goes automatically. I don't even think about it, which I should. The moments I think about it are the moments I die less, but that's a bit of a shame. 18 kill streak lost, rest in peace. And one of our emblems has bit the dust. 
And now I need to pay for more crystal gear. Is it worth using the crystal so far? I would say yes. Honestly, I'm really enjoying it. It feels really solid. Could even use a helmet that would give me a total of 35% accuracy bonus combined with my pet. Which would be nutty, I'm not gonna lie, but... I also don't think it's necessary. This alone is already deadly accurate. And the special attacks are just really good and everything. So, even if we die occasionally, I don't plan to stop using this for a little while. And good fight, buddy. Nuzzle 84, we saw our max hit for the first time. Nice, nice. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, they, they, they had me sweating for a minute there. <laughs> As if that isn't obvious. Oh, close. And the Elder Mold for the finish. Good fight, man. Yeah, it's hard on the laptop. He, he, we were just having a whole uh, talk with him about how he's on the laptop. A bit unfortunate, but gotta get them kills, man. Send it. Good fight. Oh, man, they never see it coming. That's the OP thing. I think... This is just my personal opinion, but any weapon that you can camp and use for the special attack in general is slightly more OP than anything you have to switch into. This goes for the Cursed Fang, the Inquisitor Mace, in this case the Blade of Sailed or Eye, the Balmung, stuff like that. It just makes predicting specs much harder. If that guy just now, yeah, <laughs> you're, you're clipped, don't worry. If he... If I had to switch into a spec weapon, he probably would have ate at 70 HP, but because you don't see the spec coming at all, why eat at 70? He's probably just gonna do another normal hit, right? Boop, spec, dead. It's just a little bit on the stronger end, and I don't even think this setup is that crazy OP. It's kind of a glass cannon. I feel very killable. We have died a good amount of time so far for crystal sets. But at the same time, I'm also very strong. I think that's a fair trade-off, you know, risk versus reward. I'm risking a de decent amount, I'm relatively killable, and because of that, I'm strong. But then you have like Torva with a Cursed Fang, which is just strong, but also low risk, because they're gonna be eating to 120 on every potential chance, uh, and they have a Cursed Fang, so you're barely gonna get to hitting back in the first place. At least, if you get a hit in on me, it's probably not gonna hit a zero, or at least much less likely. Just trying to justify my reasoning, I, I, you know, I'm trying to explain to you guys why certain setups are just so aids to fight, and while a setup like mine can also be not as fun to fight, you know damn well you have a potential to kill me, even if you just have a normal welfare setup with an ink mace. One little 80 spec with a vengeance and I'm dead. It's that simple, so I just think that's a lot more fair, more balanced between quotes. Oh, we got a Balmung user again, good luck, good luck. Always a little terrifying, cause you never know when they're gonna fuck you up. Ain't no way he ate there. 76 back as well with the DFS and he survived. God damn. That's smart on him. Not judging, I just think that was a great one on his end. And he, if he had specced a little earlier there, that could have killed me. Bit too late, man. 84, that's gonna kill. Good fight. Fucking hell. Why, why was that not a max hit? Pause. I just hit him at 84, and it didn't give the max hit splat. Weird. Could I somehow hit an 85? And if so, why? Why on that fight? But earlier, I did max someone an 84. Max hit splats are a bit weird sometimes. Mr. Jewels, good luck, good luck. Oh, I need to get a new hotspot task after this. Or, sorry, not hotspot task. Cursed bounty hunter task. Need to use another rewind scroll. Rewind time. Getting a lot of hotspot points as well. I feel like the kills are going pretty quick. Just because when we have someone on the ropes, the odds of them dying are pretty fucking high. Just like how the odds of me dying just now were pretty high. But we got a little lucky, so to say the least. And it's because I'm yapping so much that I get distracted. <laughs> Not very smart, but it happens. Please kill him. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm eating all the way up there, bro. I ain't taking a DHX at face value when you're 4 HP. 
for some reason he used the Gmall, but that might have just been a misclick. I ain't taking that risk, homie. Oh, that's gonna kill a good fight. Beautiful, beautiful. Can't believe this Dragon Maze is actually getting us occasional kills. Because uh, when I brought it, it was more so like a, well, if I restore a bit of spec at the end, at least I have something to use. Didn't think it would actually result in any kills, including that Torvo one earlier. Hit me. Kill him. Thank you, good fight. It was a close one, because, uh, whoo, almost had the telly there. And good fight. Realistically speaking, you just can't sit again on low HP against this. You, you gotta eat at like 78, because I can just hit that. Another curse crater, wonderful. Oh, we are out of tier 7s. Next milestone is 17 tier 8s and 1 tier 9. Let's get it, boys.